Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good new year so far. Um, in today's video, I'm filling a page in my sketchbook. I'm working on my resolutions, getting this thing filled up. So this is a Crescent Render sketchbook, like the No Show or No Bleed or something it's called. And I like this sketchbook because you can use markers on both sides of the pages and it doesn't bleed through. Like I've never had a problem with it bleeding to the other side. But I did do a lot of research before I ordered this sketchbook. I like watched so many videos of people reviewing it and stuff. And I never found, like no one ever mentioned. So I was like confused at first. When you first lay your marker down and it's still wet, it looks kind of gray. Like if you look at the page closely, you probably can't see it in the video, but it looks like there's like inside the page, it looks like there's like a layer of black or something. So when you lay your marker down, it looks like darker and grayer. And it took me a long time to get used to this, but I don't know. Now I kind of think of it as like, it helps me know if my marker's still wet and it's easier to blend. So now I'm kind of used to it, but in the beginning, I really, really hated that. So the supplies I'm using today, um, I always use a Prismacolor Cole Erase pencil for like my base sketch. And then I go over on top of that with my markers. I just use Copic markers. And um, recently I've started, I used to use fine liners, but I found I would like my drawing up until I lined it and then I like completely hated it. So I've been using Prismacolor pencils, just like the regular Premier whatever pencils. And I really, really like how that looks. It's like, like softer and you can like shade, I like add more blush, like pink, on the cheeks and stuff a lot with these. So I really like how that's looking. And then at the end, I just add a little bit of highlights with the white gel pen and that's what I do. So this bird drawing I just did, um, I'm trying to also work on my goals. I wanna draw more animals and I got some new Copic colors for Christmas. So I was trying to like think of what I could draw that would use those colors. And I'm so excited. I have a bunch more I'm waiting for to come in the mail. Ah, so exciting. But anyways, I wanted to use a lot of different colors for this bird and I didn't exactly have the right blue, which is fine. I was trying to add like more colors anyways. So I added some like green and some purple just to give it some more interest and use more colors. So that was the bird. And then this next sketch I did, I knew I wanted to like practice drawing hair and like think of ideas around like hair and I didn't know like what the end result was gonna look like so like when I was looking at pictures on Pinterest I like was seeing what inspired me and then I kind of thought I wanted her to have pigtails so then I was looking up reference pictures of that and then I decided to continue on using more colors I was like arranging my markers in like rainbow order and like seeing what colors look good together so I got inspired I wanted to give her rainbow hair so that's what I did and I really like the idea, but I don't think I executed it very well. Um, like in the end, I don't think it really looks like hair and I'm not sure if it's like the colors I used or um, cause I made like each like strip like really chunky. So it, I don't know, it looks, it just doesn't look like hair. And also like the colors I originally started with, I kept like adding more and more and more and then like trying to go back and add those colors like in everywhere kind of made it confusing but all in all I think it looks okay her hair just doesn't look like hair and then at the end I just threw in a little flower to feel like fill up space and that's another thing I want to practice drawing so that's what's in this spread um enjoy the rest of the video guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye